Born 72 years before the Battle of Yavin on the planet Harun Kal, it wasn't until some Jedi anthropologists found Windu while studying the tribes. They discovered that most of the Karunai tribe were in sync with the Force and therefore asked the Windu clan if they might take a child back to the Jedi Order to regain the Karunai's connection to the Force. The Windu clan gave the Jedi a six-month-old male since his parents had already died in the jungles. Because he was not given a name within the tribe, the Jedi Order bestowed upon him the name Mace as he entered the academy and so the story of Mace Windu begins. As a Jedi initiate, Windu was able to see shatter points in the Force, therefore this allowed him to glimpse into the future with some brief visions. During these visions, Mace was able to see the lightsaber he would eventually build. This raised concern within the Jedi Council since the lightsaber that Windu saw was basically impossible to construct. At the age of 14, Windu requested a true challenge, so that he would be able to find the parts necessary to build his envisioned lightsaber and so as a result, the Council sent him to the planet Hurricane alone to achieve his goal. His arrival to the planet was not a nice one. He was immediately chased away by the natives, however he easily was able to gain the upper hand with the force. Once he was able to help one native, the other natives as a form of gratitude presented him with a violet colored lightsaber crystal which he used to finally construct the lightsaber he had seen in his visions of the future. He began rising within the Jedi ranks until his day had finally come. 22 years before the Battle of Yavin, Mace Windu had achieved his position as a senior Jedi Council member. Therefore, as a token of achievement for himself, he proceeded to build a second lightsaber using the same purple crystal and he went on to use this one during his time as a Jedi Master. Mace Windu spared no expense. This lightsaber was built to the highest standards, emphasizing precision and quality. The weapon incorporated an Electrum finish reserved only for the most senior of council members, as well as the signature violet crystal of his earlier weapon. His now second lightsaber would go on to serve him in the arena battle on Geonosis and all throughout the Clone Wars. The last time he used this lightsaber was upon his attempt to arrest the Chancellor of the Republic, Palpatine. After a gruesome battle between the Jedi Master and the Sith Lord, he bested Sidious in what seemed like a sure victory until he was betrayed by the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin as an act of betrayal severed the hand of Windu as he was striking Sidious. As a result, his lightsaber plummeted out of the shattered window of the Chancellor's office. The owner of the lightsaber soon followed as Sidious unleashed a barrage of force lightning upon Master Windu and threw him out and into the Coruscant underlevels. Although the body of Windu was never recovered and confirmed to be dead, the lightsaber was rumored to have been found by Aduros. However, the authenticity of the lightsaber remained debatable. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.